insane damage, and he's going to need all of that damage to take on Sehan. Oh, he's playing the team. The, the nostalgia team. team. Let's go. The classic. The Kaiden team. Of course. I mean, what's hurt? Like, I've been being a... Uh... Uh, I've been baited lately because there is a person who watches Street Fighter 6 and I see that, that person on a lot of stream and their nickname is, is Kyle Den. Like K-Y-L-D-E-N and every time I see like him appear I'm like, oh no that's not him. <laughs> Kaiden became Batman, he went in at the night and we just wish we can see a glimpse of him. I hate it, we all love Kaiden, we that's all really good. do. I, uh, I, had, I had a very short ch uh, chat with him recently, you know, just like catching up and stuff. He's doing well, all good. He's busy with life. Not much of him, you know. For now, it's uh, Seihan uh, continuing the legacy with the team. Seihan has said multiple times that he believes this is uh, the, fun the, the most fun team in the game. Like, that's the team he has fun with. And I think it makes sense as well, especially with the assist that he has, because, I mean, kind of demonstrated it best all the way back in Season 2. The sheer defensive utility you get out of this team compared to, like, almost any... <laughs> oh, it's the first game, Sehan. Don't, don't give Miami a chance to clip you like this. Come on. Press 1 if you got it. Can I have a clip, please? <laughs> what a way to start the set. Oh, and get reset as well, by the way. He's dead. All right, sorry, I will need another clip that includes the reset for, for <laughs> optimal clip, please. Gonna have the optimal clip because this was a clip and a half, man. You know how we said he's been playing Majin Buu since, like, you know, the start of the game. I, I think that kind of shows why he does that, you know? My God. But for now, good luck blocking. I mean, no matter how good your defense is, the mix Majin Buu can do. Is ridiculous. You've got to block that uh, overhead though. And straight to level 3. Here is my mix. Wrong mix indeed with Android 17 in the background as well. Say, I'm going to go for the cross up. Oh, it's so potent every single time. Got to guess. Miami not able to guess correctly this time. The buzzer sounds out. And he is not able to actually get the killing combo there. No extension. Level 1. You're safe. Just going to get yeah. another character in, yeah? The, the, the expensive uh, safe tag. Some characters have them, but that's uh, what Majin Buu is good at. Oh, had the opening, but Ooh. did not believe in it. Oof. You don't even need that assist, but let's go. And I like that he super dashed immediately as well, so he didn't get course corrected by the assist and then drop the rest of the combo. Free extension there, not the best damage, and Sehan does fire back immediately, but Miami seems like he's going in this set, feeling really, really on the ball. Oh! Fumbling the bag and gets the cross up now. Sehan putting Jelemba into the corner. I don't think he can kill. He can't. No assist, so he can't get anything extra. Oh, that goes to the teleporter, get himself out of the corner, but he gets dragged right back in. The spot. The amount of resources that he's having to spend kind of goes to testify how scary Sehan is. He refuses to go for a road tag because he knows he's going to get obliterated by him. Ha! Oh, oh, oh. Good counter. But it's Spark, so he's just like gonna beat the Spark timer. That's what the car counter is for. See, he's extending the combo as long as he can just to let the Spark timer run. That is a smart way. Zero damage, but uh, beating the Spark for now? They can't get out of open. Yep, and in comes down with 18 with a little bit of spark to enhance damage even further. And you're gonna have to hold the mix once again. Went for the cross up before, gonna go for the same side this time. I wonder, Sehan, here we go. Hey, I blocked. And the man did not. Opening on Sehan's side. And now it's a 2v2, and Sehan is on the lead now. Big change. Yeah, I mean, shockingly, we're having to say Sehan's back in the lead here because Miami was off to a very, very good start. Sehan slowly but surely piling the pressure on, though. Now we're going for the staggers. Another successful command grab. Interesting. Miami appears to be finding a little hole in the defense right now. Oof. Yeah, once again, had an opening, but did not believe in the opening. And of course, the ultimate defensive assist. Going to make it work. Oh. Dead. Planting the tree, and Stehan brings it down to a QB1. Miami in dangerous territory here. He has such a good start, needs to find a way to capitalize, but Barrier is not going to be the game enter there because of the air button. Now he gets to back off. Janemba's long sword of the whole screen range is out. 
but not going to be able to connect just yet. Sehan goes back to Blockstone, jumps away from the Dragon Rush. Nice reaction. And I think he tried to go for the Stomp there and just got caught out by a counter. Hmm. Two bars, and knocked it. One more, wakes up buttons. So Sehan's the one going to block this one. Dash block attempt. Come on, grab into level three. Obviously, this is not scaled. That might be dead. No, that's not. Close. Oh no! Oh. He had committed to that grab. And the grab did not land after a strong start from Miami. Sehan is the one getting the number one. Get encounter hit right there, and I feel like that's uh, how Miami felt when that command grab failed at the end. Very unfortunate, but it does feel like he got Sehan quite a lot in just one round of it. And someone like Sehan's going to be very quick to adapt, but not going to be quick to adapt to a 5M to the face all the way at the corner of Damascus. Oh, the damage. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for playing. Oh, oh th thank you. Thank you. Take my hand, Kepler, dead in 15... Oh, sorry, 17 seconds. Any percent. You should. Any percent. <laughs> Doing right Wrong. now. Oh. This time, obviously, uh, Sehan's not going to engage. But still gets opened up. Very good start for Miami, who will be able to take this all the way at the corner, thanks to the special Z change. One and a half hours already built. Going to go for the plateau to keep on lockdown. Oh, get sneaks. The bot slam going on the other side, shaking the ground itself. Ouch. Dead. Yo, this is a Miami speedrun right now. It's down to 18. On her own. I mean, doable, yes, but the momentum on Miami's side is kind of ridiculous. Sehan has yet to get an opening. Oh my god, you can't, you can't TOD there. Oh my god, sir. This is an absolute showcase of a game. We should actually have the perfect letters being displayed there. Extending. Yes, there we go. Still finishing with Janemba for the sake of it, level 1. Getting the full animation into level 1. And then level 3 it is. Miami is going to take an absolutely dominant game number 2. Ha! A perfect on Seihan. Who else has that claim unwanted? Well, Damascus, I have found your YouTube title this time. Sehan gets perfected? Exclamation mark? I, I that, that, that entire match, that entire match might might be able to fit into a short, you know. Um, listen, my, my content brain is, is moving, you know. <laughs> it's called, this is why you should watch Wanted this week. And it's just the whole perfect. Oh my god. That... We go from saying Sehan's been uncontested to this. Oh, and he changes teams immediately. It's like fighting the Pokemon gym leaders. You get one down. Okay, on to the next team. Yep. He has uh, many. Let's see uh, if he can. Because obviously, like, Miami looked absolutely ridiculous in this previous game. It's not going to be a, an easy run for Sehan for now. First mix. That's going to be a mid. Yeah, going for the standard taps right now. Jiren just staggering away and making Sehan dare to press anything. Just... Dashes into his own block once again. Good back off from him in the end, though. It does feel like Sam slowly but surely inching him towards the corner with his key blast, but still has to be conscious of the counter. Some super dashes from Miami, and no contest from Sehan so far, except for that dive kick. There we go, the reflect is there! And the 2 L of the medium scaling start at Damascus. Look at the damage! Uh, there is an assist. Oh no! Ah! It's the case stopping him, because I was wondering at this point, you know? I was curious, he genuinely could have. Hold on, the counter didn't activate, but I saw a key blast get shrugged off by it. Oh, oh. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> you know, Hit is a great answer to this kind of gameplay as well, because you can't, like, one of the reasons why Sehan goes for this team is because you can't take the initiative against Hit. You need nope. to be the one to follow Hit, and he's seen that Miami was like, you know what, I want to be on the driver's seat. Sehan takes the team that uh, stops you from being there. I, I really do think that's the best way to sum it up, especially with movement like that and the stance cancels. When someone can react as well as Sehan, that's what you use the stances for. You check and you just punish every single opportunity. Good jump over the command grab there for Miami. Goes to the cross up. Good block from Sehan because, again, his defense <laughs> is crazy. Get headbutted though. Oh my. Ah, conversion not there. That could have been a. Uh, oh. 
he literally, without a joke, kicked his ass. Live. On stream. <laughs> Is that against the new terms of service? I don't know. <laughs> oh man. Alright, the Dragon Rush, I like that. Pulling the assist for in this direction. And now to the corner we go. Getting the extension as much as possible. Here's the fat toss to keep it going once again. Going for the level 3 to get some blue life back for free. Eating the candy up with three bars still to go. Miami now has the pressure on his side. Janembra Assist isn't there, but calls him out with the Dragon Rush. And that does connect. The Janembra Assist will come back in time. I do think this can be extended into enough to get the kill. Yes. Just about, though. Yeah. Zwap. Slice the man into pieces. And with this, Miami is on the lead. from Miami. Counter! Ah. Ah, I appreciate the reaction, but to the wrong thing. We saw him doing this last week as well in that prior set against Jaden LP, all those counters, but I don't think Sehan's going to give him that opportunity. The block. Oh, I like that. Oh. I like the answer. Not going to be able to kill. He's going to go for the regen. Oh, the regen is important, okay. The Jinbu in. Oh, there's Ooh. a fast one. Mixed! Mixed! Oh my god, Miami! And he does it without even having to spend a super as well! This is incredible! Chat's gotta have one super! Oh my goodness, that kinda was crazy. And once again, the stance is checking Miami at every opportunity. Now we just get a chance to take his turn back. And here comes the Janemba assist. The reflect attempt, but not gonna work out from Sehan. I do respect it, but still not enough. The jabs! Little boxing gloves to the face, and Sehan will get that Majin Buu out of there. But I will say, massive amount of work put in by that character in this round. Yes, sir. It's the ankle war now. Take the leads. Yami's yeah, playing out of his mind right now. Level Kamaiwa. three. My Miami does have Spark, but Sehan has been playing very woke with Kate in just the one game he's picked them so far. Will there be a bait? Will there not? We see. Oh. Doesn't even go for the Spark. Still gets checked. Crazy. It really be like that sometimes. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself, Trunks. What do you want me to say? It do. It do. Two one for Sehan. But what a set so far, man! It's been an exciting one. Let's see uh, if these players will go the distance. Another opening goes to Miami, and yeah, when Jiren is there, it's pretty much a two-touch situation anytime. Yep, the sheer damage he outputs now, especially with that buff level one this patch is crazy. Sehan having a hold on for dear life and just deep end in the corner. I mean, we know he's best at that. Are we going to get Terrace anytime soon? No, we're not, because the moment the word Terrace gets ushered, someone gets hit. Ooh! I have to say, Sehan has dropped a couple of times in uncharacteristic places so far in this set. And Miami, he may have dropped himself, but these are definitely chances that when he's doing so well, you can't really give him. Yeah. Oh, the delay, yeah, that should be enough. Mm -hmm. Looking for anything difficult. That's gonna be the kill. There's Vegeta. Takes one down. Yep. You think it's simple, as you said, not wanting to make any additional errors from what's happened so far. Hit A, Damascus. Hit A. Hit A. That's all we need to do. Oh, staircase. Ooh. Gets the ring right. How much can you do now? Just extending. There's only one assist, three bars. Gonna build the fourth into the assist. I think he kills. Imano Kamaiwa. Gonna be close. Can the time stopping assassin live up to his name? What? Yes. Yes, just about though. The damage buff from Vegeta's level one coming in clutch there from 2 1 for OS. Okay. Okay, nice. Oh, the drop, that's unfortunate. It's gonna be hard as well because Miami plays Janemba, right? He's uh, one of the characters hit by that meter nerf, so whenever you use meter for something and you don't finish the combo, you feel extra sad. 
Very true. The only saving grace is that, of course, Sparking does cancel the meter penalty for those characters, but that does mean, essentially, he's going to have to commit entirely at 21 seconds when he's ready. Fishing for the hit right now. Goes to the cross-up, but Sehan did jump, so won't be able to go into a full extension. There's the grab again. Another success for Miami. Big damage unscaled as well. Not able to take him towards the corner entirely just yet, though, so going to have to Ooh. go for safe. Low taps, but he actually finds the hit. Goku's out of there without any additional bar being spent. Okay, Miami, good start. One, all right, one down. Should we go? Shout out to D Wolf for the for, for the sub. Ten months. Much love to you. Oh, oh, jump over nice from Sehan. There we go. Now he commits to those twenty-one seconds. He's got to find the hit in here because he will build so much bar. This is one way to do it. Not going to be able to recover that meter penalty that much. But this is still good damage. Sehan's going to pop the retaliation spark. Fires away right now. Here comes Hit A for the mix. Not able to get that to land just yet. 5H is dead. Jumps over. Miami blocking for his life, Damascus. This man is showing Sehan that he can also play Tetris. Oh, escapes the attempt. And Miami is going to kill the base Vegeta. He is right every single time. Miami is coming for the win today, man. Both of their sparks are going to run at almost exact same time as well. This is once again going to be an anchor war. Six bars on Miami's side. He's got so much meter to spend, which is potent for Jemba. Here comes the grab again at the unscaled level three. Is he cooking for this comeback? Watch out, watch out for the wake-up action. Watch out for the wake-up action. Ah, you got hit. <laughs> Hard to you. The calma those in chat was Tex. Willow? Willow knows. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Oh, hold on. No, no, not like this. Anything to say? I don't really think there is, to be honest. Mix! Mix. Mix! Mix. I will say, though, we do have a say. Miami is looking really good. But for it to end like that in that round, ah, that just hurts. Oh my god. Alright, let me get to the opening once again, but for two games in a row, it feels like he's put, he's put so much work and at the end, Sehan just clutches it. Sehan refuses to lose. <clears throat> Interestingly to me, though, the moment Sehan switched off of the um, Team Kaiden with the defensive utility, he's lost the point war every single time so far. Miami takes the corner once again. Close to killing. Gonna have to go for the staggers once again. Janemba assist is there. Hit A comes out, so Sehan gets a chance to fire back. Good block. The key blast comes out. Here comes the assist as well on Miami's side. No confirm once again. Sehan playing very elusive right now. Oh, finally gets course. Down. Good for hit. Okay. You saw that hit is pretty much the character that uh, Miami struggles against. So wanted to use it as early as possible because that Jiren has been a threat, and there we go, opening with a cross up. Oh. I think he tried to go for something cheeky there, but it didn't work. He's called Miami out like five times in three seconds. Stop and kill him already, Sehan, please. He does win the exchange this time, and Jiren is out of there. Unfortunate, and this is definitely a different tail of the tape from the previous games. Miami's gonna have a tall order. Nice counter in the air against that assist to take some distance. Oh, but reflects! And that's a medium starter as well. Sehan's gonna get a ton of damage of this. You should. Brock. Of course, yeah, extending. Oh. How much can you do with this? Oh, blue combos? We take those. Oh my oh. god. Nah, 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 nah. He has... He has adapted to the man. Remember when you said that Sehan doesn't let you take the initiative? This yeah. is how. Invong gets hit by that. Nice. Brings Janemba in. The fact that's a reversal now, kind of ridiculous for Majin Buu. Yeah. And because it's not first frame, it's not just blue life. Of the things. This is true. Oh my god, he still managed to take his turn back, even though Janemba was one with a counter. But Miami does actually find the way in. And killing hit first, actually, Damascus. This could be huge for Miami going forward in this round. That is a good one. It's still a slight lead for Sehan, but the resources are very similar. Both uh, players have sparked. And that Majin Buu has been super good. Blocking the cross-up as well. Sehan is trying to get something. Nice reflect. Oh my god, that was blocked wow. as well. The challenge. Sehan is still very vigilant. 
Oh, he almost got him. That's so unfortunate. Now he has to go for the copy to get some distance. I like that from Miami. Disengages and then blocks once again. Underrated that we haven't talked about it yet, but Miami's defense is actually crazy. Absolutely. Oh! No, no, no. Or if he converted, oh, 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 oh. Well, that's a different conversion, but you know, oh, oh. we take those, we take those. Quality games, man. Quality games. Okay, diving in with the assist to cover. Oh my god, the tail end of that Kamehameha hits, and now Sehan gets a super dash extension. Towards the corner we go, won't build the third bar just yet, but Miami gonna have to find a way out. Nice reflect. JM hits, but no confirm after that. He's looking for a way. There's a teleport. Oh my god, it's movement. It's yep, movement. Move. Yep. And now that is a dead Janemba. Goku versus Majin Buu. Not even going for anything after that when he could get a really long extension for the bar. Just goes for the super. I think Sehan is definitely not looking to take any chances against Miami. Yeah. There's the headbutt this time. <gasps> no. Ah, no. I think maybe he was trying to go for the input to get ready for Spark, but doesn't matter in the end. 4-1. And I think this is definitely one of those times you can see a scoreline does not reflect the quality of a set for once. Yeah, that's uh, a very similar. That, that's the I lost, but, that was, but it was close, you know, like that's... <laughs> That's pretty much the story right now. Miami is playing ridiculous, but Sehan simply refuses to lose. Good block on the mix. Now, you have to uh, take your turn. Let's go. Go. Oh, find out what happens again as Se uh, Sehan gets put to the corner again by Miami once again, winning the first interactions properly in the neutral. It comes to Fat Toss to lock him down entirely, staggering it out. And Ember assist, the reflex there from Sehan, but he still holds back. And then he just pushes that assist button and hit A comes out and says no. No characters allowed beyond this point. And again, C goes for hits. Wants to get hit in as soon as possible. Character who's been a. Uh... Really putting damage on me and his team. No, you can Oh, good block. Oh my. Thank God he could block that in time, I will say. I right, still time to try and control the air, obviously. You got these long range limbs. You got the cartwheel. Okay. Oh, 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 Rare footage of someone defeating Hit EX Dance. What yeah. is this? Superior movement? For Miami, he's gonna try to go for. More pressure into the corner. Ah, what a challenge. What a challenge. He knew exactly when to challenge. And now it's Miami back to the corner. Yep, we go for the special care with no milk loops right here. The auto combo loops. Sehan is going to do that quite optimally though. Miami does find a way out. Crosses over, but again, the defense is on point. Cancels that key blast and goes to Vanish instead. Ooh, risky. He forced himself almost back to the corner. As a result, he has to spark to keep the pressure going on Sehan. There's the assist again. Oh my god, none of them will be opened up. And here comes Seance counter spark. Oh. Now it's his turn. Oh, he's dead is the worst part. He's definitely dead without assist in the background. Boom. Into level one. And level one. That's a dead Jiren. And once again, Sehan, it's not an easy run, but he keeps consistently taking the lead and keeping it. Oh. Has hit A again just when there was a stagger and that gave Miami a chance to get some momentum in there. Hit A shuts it down and he goes all the way to the corner with that. Oh, and then the JM connects. Those weighted shoes from Goku doing the work. Will be able to get the kill. Mm. Never mind. I didn't lie. I just predicted the future. All right. And two, three. It's gonna be a hard comeback, man. Very difficult. He did make Seance spend the spark already, so that is a little bit of a positive, but hit still there. There's a lot of bar. Any combo could be massive damage, and there's hit A again. Oh my god, it does so much work. Week for week, the counter was successful. Into the grab. Level one. Doesn't kill Miami. That was definitely a killing opportunity, even if you had to spend extra. To command grab again, though, I think we're looking at over 10 grabs successfully hitting Sehan at this point. Very unprecedented against the uh, champion right there. Nice orb to shut him down. Dragon Rush connects. 
Miami, sending him skywards with the Dragon Rush. Four bars already filled, trying to extend this as much as possible. Go for the Vanish into the uh, level three. Oh, this is going to be close. Last hit. Yes! Does just about find it. It's a 1v1 once again. Janemba versus Face Vegeta, and I think this might be a bit more favorable for, for Janemba because of all the counter opportunities. Uh oh. Shit. I said that. Here it comes, Shime. Fire low, which way will you go? Press one if you got hit. God, this is illegal. This is illegal. And he texts the Dragon Rush after what just happened there. It's it's been the same repeating scenario like all the time. Miami does great. Everyone thinks Miami is about to do well, and then Sehan is like, "Hold up, I'm the champion." Yeah. <laughs> Simple addition. Why don't I have a screen check on counter? I need I need to fix the screen check. I will do that after the stream. Has to be done. Five one Sehan looking to make another Brazil happen, and I I can't believe it because Miami has been playing so good, man. Sayan in the chat as well. It, you know what? Player analysis right here. He's just said, I didn't sweat like this in a while. This is so hard to fight against. We, re we really do have a good set. Oh. Not a good set for Miami right now because this is a happy birthday right here, Damascus. Say goodbye to Majin Buu. That was way too fast. Way too fast. Oh, God. oh Miami fires back. I respect this. Two and a half bars already built and we'll get towards the corner. So this is something, if not anything, after that death of the happy birthday. Jumps in, gonna have to go for the staggers. Six M is blocked. Now going for the staggers once again. Sehan's not gonna crack the knees. His defense is there. Of course Sehan will be happy to block for that long when there is no big mix. Oh I think he was caught in the recovery frame to reflect there. Five bars already built. Ah, no, he couldn't get the extension. That would have killed, I'm pretty sure. Sehan dashes up to you. Most people will be terrified. Miami presses 2L and he gets a kill. That's the heart of a champion right there. Ah, the dragon rush though. Alright, Miami. So then by again, can you make us believe? I would love to be able to believe. I need some hopium here, Miami. Give us the level 3 here to get some big damage in. Now go for the low 2L taps. No, the JM this time jumps over the ground. Very nice reaction from Sehan there. Tapping away with the key blast. I think he tried to go for the sword, but he will get intercepted by the 236. And Sehan finds yet another hit. Three bars already built. Next hit will kill, goes towards the corner, almost gets the grab. Enhanced level three. I think Miami's is going to have to be forced into a spark right here. Oh, yep. Oh no, actually, the drop. That was huge for Miami because he will get a hit when he realistically could have died for that punish from Sehan. Five bars already built. He's got the teleport mix set up. Left to right, Damascus. Cross up, cross up, cross up. Let's go. Yeah, see, I blocked. And he gets the kill as well. You're ready for your evil pool. Okay, Miami. We have seen you several times get down to Janemba. And you have almost gotten over the hurdle. Can you please finish off this time? Oh my god, he gets the block because he was in sparking. No! <laughs> He's dead. Level one. And it's enough because it's pointing upwards. And Sehan continues to be the shatterer of dreams, even after a happy birthday, Miami takes to a 1v1, but it's still not enough against this man. Sehan cannot be stopped. It's 6-1. We are almost on the way to the passport stamping process, Damascus. Oh my god. Are we really doing this? Are we really doing this? I, I hope not, but with the way it's going, we're going to have to see a dramatic change up. All the reflexes there. Miami once again winning the first interaction, but he can't keep Sehan locked down forever. Tapping away with the staggers once again, and a nice 2L challenge to stop that right in his tracks. Dragon Rush to get the extra bar and the extra damage goes for the level 3. Even Kaiwa 
And here is the pressure from Hit. The character that has shut down Miami's team so much throughout this set. Here he comes once again. 2M blocked. And now he backs off. Fires back. And he can't get that to come out. We're going back to scrambles again. And it looks like Miami survives by the skin of his teeth. Ayo. Safe. <laughs> he tried to challenge. Challenge didn't work. But he's still getting a bit more. So let's go. The most expensive tag out process ever, but you know what? I respect that he does still keep all those characters alive because that Jiren was in danger! Cert. But you remember. Uh, yeah, I, ju I just realized something. Uh-huh. Do you, you want to be depressed real quick? Go on. You, you know what that only one win is on Miami's side. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and now this. And now this. Oh. How did we go from the golden letters to this, Damascus? How many layers of power does Sehan hold that we don't know about? Oh my god. He's down a character. Level one again? Actually, he does catch hit this time. Okay, because he was putting his hands in his pockets. Okay. Stopping the assist in his tracks. Nice call up from Miami. Dragon Rush. Nice tech from Sehan as well. The pair of them crossing each other up. That's the first time the EX Grab has hit Miami this entire set. And he can't get a confirm from it. Now we go for the fat throw. Nice reflect. Trading. But still Miami trying to push up to the corner. Nice movement and a nice 2H. That was beautiful from Sehan. So is, it, is it long? It's looking long. I'm so, <laughs> so, I'm so upset. Because like... The perfect against Sehan is not something I think was on anyone's bingo card going on to this set. And now it's going to end in a 7 1 at this rate. But he, he killed three characters, so he has three points, so it's, it's 6 3 actually. Actually, yeah, you know what, you're right. When, it, when you're going against Sehan, it's uh, per character kill, not per game one. Silly me. My god. Like, honestly, Sehan is just showing why he's the champion right now, because Miami has brought so much heat to this match. Sehan always manages to successfully adapt. And, and bring the heat back to the opponents. And that's what makes him the champion. He's on his way to a 10th win in a row, but... Not if Miami has something to say that Jiren... is not done yet. Listen, he's Jiren, man. He has a huge backstory. His family died. That's the backstory. And he dies as well. And, and now Jiren dies. He joins them. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Wanted Airlines will be taking off very shortly. We've got some clear skies forecast for our flight to Brazil today. Sao Paulo looking lovely at this time of year. Make sure your passports are ready to go. Make sure your documents are prepared because Sehan has given you yet another all-expenses trip to Brazil 